Yes, car parts. What do we have here? Hello, Type R. Alright guys, so brand new part for the STI. First off, let me just say, sorry for being gone so long. I, I was having some computer issues. I switched over to Windows, now I'm back to my Mac. Just a long story short, I am back. I can now edit videos. Also, I came down with a short illness. No, it's not COVID, so don't be alarmed. So we're gonna take all this stuff out of the box. And uh, thank you guys for all your support so far. Usually around this time in about you know January, right after holidays, I usually take a break off YouTube anyways. I wasn't planning on it this time, but for some reason, you know, I got sick and here we are. Um, not put it, posting up a video in a couple weeks. But we have a brand new, actually it's not a brand new part. This part has actually been out for a while. But some of you guys recommended that I get this part. This is from, I think, TBW Performance, I think. But this is your, this is a metal under tray for the 2015 up. WRX, not WRX, but STI. Now, if you do own a WRX, I believe that the part number will be different. I don't know if we have enough room to show you all this, but this is awesome. Wow, first impressions, you guys are seeing it at the same time I am. This thing is really, really clean. Check this out, I really do like it. Got a nice cutout for the STI logo, awesome. I really do like this. Uh, but one of the main reasons why I wanted to get this skid plate, I think it's called a skid plate. Is that the proper name for it? Okay, so one of the reasons why I got this was one, I'm doing frequent oil changes since I am on E85. I'm doing my oil changes. My intervals are around 1500 to 2000 miles. And I just wanted to make things easier. Now I know, I get it. The plastic under tray is not hard to take off. It takes less than two minutes, but this just makes things easier. Now also, let me just say this was not sponsored at all. I paid full price for this straight off of their website. I will put a link down in the description below if you are interested in something like this. But I know there are a lot of questions out there. Will this work with the Killer Bee oil pan? Now, some say it will, some say it won't, but I wanted to try it out for myself because I know you guys had the same questions when it comes to an aftermarket skid plate or under tray, whatever you wanna call it. No scratches right there, look at that. Oh. I don't know, I don't really care. Oh wow, look at this. Look at these scratches. Straight out of the box. I don't think it should matter. I really don't, man. They, they, they seem like, they're probably a small company, man. I don't wanna be a total douche and you know cry over some small scratches. But just for the record, let me just show you what scratches I'm talking about. Not my fingerprints, I don't know if you can see right there. Yeah. Oh well, does it really matter though? All right, so we're gonna mock everything up because this did not come with instructions. Now this part right here is the front of the vehicle and we have two winglets on each side. Make sure that these actually point towards the front of the car. And uh, looking at these holes right here, I kind of, kind of figured it out. There's two ground wires on each side. So your ground wire go through right here and you would mount your ground wire right there. There should be a 10 millimeter bolt, I think. So yeah. So if you look at everything, I think it mocks up just like that. Now let's make sure we have all the hardware we need to install everything. All right, so let's take a look at the hardware. It looks like we have three 13 millimeter bolts, eight 10 millimeter bolts, four U-clips, and four of these replacement pop clips. I think we have everything. Okay guys, first order of business, we're gonna take out this 10 millimeter. Now we are on the driver's side right now. This is the ground strap, so just go ahead and take that out. And we're gonna install the first piece of the skid plate. We're gonna loop this through, just like that. 
I'm gonna take our 10 millimeter and reinstall it into the same hole. Oh, great. Nope, not gonna work. Intercooler piping, son of a. Okay, slight delay. Now the front mount intercooler piping kind of gets in the way of this winglet. So currently I don't have any cutoff wheels right now, but all I did was just bend this back and we should be good. Now, where is that bolt? Now, in the future when I do get a cutoff wheel, it's too late for me to go to the store right now. I'm gonna have to cut this off in order to accommodate the intercooler piping. So I'm a little loose still. Okay, there's one side. Let's see if we have any issues with the other side. Depending on what type of lip you have, this may or may not be difficult. So, this is part of the OEM bumper right here. We're gonna stick one of those provided U-clips here and here. And then we're gonna reuse these two pop clips there and right there. Here is the U-clip. Make sure you put it in with the threaded side up. Now let me go under the lip. There we go. All right. So next up are these two 10 millimeters that will go on the side. We may have trouble on this side. Remember we had to bend this one a little bit. And if everything goes as planned, all changes are gonna be so much easier. All right, there you go. And just repeat on the opposite side. Okay, so now that we have everything installed, let's take a look at the access panels down here. So if I sound funny, apologize, I don't have that much room. All right, so let's take a look at that. Let's see exactly, and this comes out by the way. There you go, let's see. And as you guys can see right there, easy access to the oil filter. So there you go, really not much to see there. Okay, now this is the drain, this also comes off. I don't know if I showed you guys that. But as you guys can see, it is pretty close. So there is about, I don't know, about a half an inch clearance between the Killer Bee oil pan and the actual skid plate itself. But as you guys can see, you still have access to your drain plug. Now I have this Fomoto oil valve, and as you can see, if I were to drain the oil, it would spill all over um, the new skid plate. But I have a tube that goes over there, so it's really not gonna be a problem for me. So if I knew beforehand, I would have used this as my drain and this for my oil temperature gauge. So that's my oil temperature gauge, by the way. But yeah, here you go. Um, I can stick my finger in there, eh, about a half an inch or so. So we should be fine. My only concern with the skid plate, is it going to retain heat? But I guess uh, these slats or slits right here will help, I don't know, expel some of that heat in theory. I don't know that yet. But yeah, so there you go. I don't know, what do you guys think? A get a closer look at the clearance. There you go, my Fomoto oil valve. And there you go. That's how much clearance we got with the Killer Bee oil pan. Okay, so there it is. The aluminum under tray is now fully installed. The only issue I had was, as you guys saw earlier, it was with the charge pipe, but that wasn't really an issue. It bended just fine. Now there are two versions of this aluminum under tray. I got the thinner version. They do have a rally version, which is thicker material. Now my only concern with this, is it going to retain heat since it sits very close to the oil pan. And as you guys know, the header isn't that much farther up from the oil pan. Now, is it going to retain more heat more than the uh, plastic under 
tender tray that comes with the car from the factory. Um, but yeah, also I've paid full price for this thing. If you guys have any cheaper places where you can get it, please comment down in the description below and help anybody else who's trying to get the same thing. But I do have some spacers that I'm thinking of adding in the future, not now, because I got a whole bunch of other stuff I gotta do. And hopefully maybe we'll get more room under the aluminum under tray. So, but anyways, that is it. Um, I got a whole bunch of more parts. Uh, sitting right there that just got delivered not only just for the type r but also for the sti i can't wait to get that on the car and show you guys exactly what i got but anyways that is it thanks for watching i appreciate you guys supporting the channel and we will talk to you guys later peace out guys yeah.